la 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 Eohippus lived about 50 million years ago and was well adapted to living in the swamp-like forests. It could hide from its enemies behind trees and in the shadows. Its teeth could chew the leaves of bushes and small trees. Then, as time went by, Eohippus changed. La 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 a few adaptations and new situations It's now Mesohippus, a collie-sized horse It still ate the leaves, but each of its four feet Now had only three toes, its hoof had begun That was about 38 million years ago And as more millions of years passed We find that Mesohippus continued to evolve into a new variety of horse. La 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 With some variations as well as mutations it's now Merakippus, a pony-sized horse. Its teeth could chew grass, though each foot had three toes, the one in the middle was more like a hoof. Merakippus roamed the plains about 20 million years ago. Its greater speed and size, as well as its ability to chew grass, enabled it to survive. Then, as still more time went by, the horse became even bigger, and its hooves more like those of the modern horse, Equus. La 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 it took a long time, but in time Eohippus evolved into Equus, the modern-day horse. The fossils reveal the documentation, and this is the end of the tale of the horse. But not the end of the evolution of the horse.